Hi, welcome back to a brand new coffee tech show with Jan. Hopefully you enjoyed my uh, last videos uh, about uh, Trio C60 daisy chaining, uh, Trio C60 in combination with Ego Director 2, uh, which is also very popular now for the, for the bigger rooms. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on and hopefully with my channel uh, I can keep uh, the UC community uh, up to date. I think today I have another exciting uh, video for you and that is the Microsoft Teams room system uh, and joining that as a guest into a WebEx meeting or into a Zoom meeting. I want to show that day on the Poly G series. Uh, that is the Microsoft Teams room system from uh, Poly uh, based on Windows IoT. Uh, so what do I have here? Uh, so I got here single screen and uh, I have here my GCA. So not to mix up it, this is the TCA there, which is in combination with the, uh, uh, the Studio X. The GC8 uh, is in combination with uh, the Microsoft Teams room system and uh, the Windows IoT edition. Now, underneath the VESA plate here, I got the computer, uh, but that is not of interest now. I want to show you how the experience is with joining as a guest at the, the WebEx meeting and the Zoom meeting. Now, first of all, there are some things which are good to know. Uh, it's single screen solution it's limiting resolution uh, so it, i think it's max 720p content is only received uh, so you receive content from uh, uh, the laptop uh, or from the meeting where you're in you don't send anything uh, so the hdmi ingest or something uh, that's not uh, functional we're using that as uh, as a guest but it works, I think, pretty well. So I've been testing that uh, for a while here, joining some meetings, and uh, so far, uh, it looks very good. It's still in a sort of preview phase, uh, but uh, as I said, it, uh, it functions pretty well. So I wanted to show you first off uh, how you uh, enable this, and also uh, which version you probably need to get started with those sort of meetings, and then, I will join a meeting, a WebEx meeting, show you that experience. And I will do the same thing uh, with a Zoom meeting. I will join that meeting and show you uh, how that experience looks like. Now, first off, let me show you how to enable uh, this functionality to be able to join as a guest into a WebEx meeting and a Zoom meeting. Uh, so you enable it. Uh, under settings. So let me first go there. All right. So under meetings, let me show you. So you can see it under meetings. You see here third party meetings. Uh, and you can see there you can enable separately uh, for WebEx and for Zoom uh, if you want to join those meetings. And uh, so I think it's pretty straightforward to be able to uh, to join it and you can join that with room info uh, or you can join it with custom info these are the settings uh, yeah you have today when uh, using this now minimum version which you probably need is 4.6.23.0 and uh, so that is good to know that will be the minimum version you need uh, but yeah if you've got this hooked up to the internet, uh, it uh, should be able to update cells all the time, and then you should be able to receive those invitations. Now, and if you then enable that and you send out a Zoom invitation, you send out a WebEx invitation and Teams invitation, and probably using uh, Outlook. You can see those meeting invites right here. So I've sent out those meetings to show you uh, how that looks like very very easy now the thing is there's also difference in experience for example one of notes with a webex meeting you uh, need to be there as a host before you're able to join it from this device that was a different experience for the zoom meeting that it just uh, goes into the meeting and you would join it so i don't know if that's a limitation or a specific setting but this is what i 
experience. So let me show you, for example, eh, if I now try to join this WebEx meeting, eh, which where the host has enabled the meeting, it will say it also at the top, couldn't join, organizer might have not started the meeting yet. So it will automatically also give that information at the top. Now, what I will do, let me make sure I start this meeting now. And now I can punch this again. And as you will see, it will join the meeting now. Now, the nice thing is, is that you got all your controls. So uh, and you see here below, you will get the controls to mute video. You can mute here the audio if you want. And so you got most of the controls available. So I can turn video here on and off. Uh, and you're able to uh, to mute if needed. Uh, and you can see it's in sync. You can also receive the video here. I can send my video here. What is also possible is I can put the screen which I have on the main screen, I can put that here also on the touch panel. So you can even now click on participants, for example, and see who is in the call eh, on this uh, touch panel. So here you can really eh, bring back that experience to this touch panel to be able to control some settings. Now, the thing that is also possible, as I said, you don't send content from uh, the guest uh, side. Eh? And uh, I think it's a client based on a sort of Chromium uh, app as well, WebRTC technology, yeah? but at least uh, you can join it as a, as a guest, but you're able to send from the laptop side. So I can now, for example, start sharing here from my laptop, just to show you how that looks like. Eh? And here you go. So I have now a presentation sharing from a WebEx client eh, on the laptop here on the MTR, the Microsoft Teams room system. You can even put uh, the screen you have there, replicate that also here on the touch panel. So as you see, I have now the screen which was shared. I got it also now here on the Teams room device on the on the GCA touch panel. Again, uh, you can leave the meeting here if you want. You can do volume control. You can do mute, uh, video mute, etc. Uh, so you got all the basic stuff there. And as I said, I've been testing this now for a while. And I think, uh, yeah, it works OK. And there's not uh, much you can break here. And it just uh, it just works. There's no separate license also on the Microsoft Teams room. There's no separate license here. You just join it, uh, as I said, as a, as a guest. All right, so this was the experience for the WebEx meeting. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is how does this look like when you join a Zoom meeting? Now, experience, the, the user experience is exactly the same. You just walk into the meeting room, the Zoom meeting has been scheduled, and you join it by starting the join button. There's no other way here to join a Zoom meeting. There's no ad hoc uh, starting of Zoom meetings or anything like that. Uh, it's just really that join experience. Same for uh, the WebEx uh, meeting. Now, as I said, uh, you don't have to start the meeting as a host. So I haven't started here the meeting yet on Zoom. And this is also what I want to show you. I can actually join now the meeting while I'm not there yet as a host. And this was different experience which I had with the WebEx meeting. So as you see, eh, I'm now here in the meeting. So also I have my controls here, gives you the same look and feel. So you got volume control, mute, uh, uh, video mute, eh, it's exactly the same. And also I can turn off the video as you see, and you will see uh, the, the name and also mute and unmute, etc. You can also copy eh, the screen which you have here. Same thing, I can copy that also here. Eh, and you got some controls. You can easily look at the chat if you want. Uh, so you got some different controls here. You can look at the same thing. You can look at the participants, which are in the meeting. Uh, so you can really replicate the screen you have here and the controls and put them on the touch panel. Now, I can join that meeting, of course, as a host uh, to show you also the experience 
when you share uh, content, for example. Uh, here you go. So I'm now, same thing, I'm now here in the meeting. Uh, and uh, what you can do is I can start, for example, my video. And so as you can see, I'm now here in the video. I have the camera here in, in front of me. And same thing, I can even replicate that and copy the video I have here. I can copy that also showing it on the GCA, uh, as you see. And then you can also have some additional controls if you want. Now, it's exactly the same. So let me go back here and uh, let me also share some content. So I can do share screen and grab a presentation just to show you how that experience looks like. Uh, you can do it full screen and you can walk through a presentation. And same thing, you can replicate this presentation also on the GCA, as you see. Uh, and it's, yeah, I think it's all pretty, pretty straight forward and you can just join as a guest you receive the content and you got some additional controls here for the chat or or leave meeting and yeah as i said during my test this was also working okay and while it is most of this is i think still in a sort of preview but you're able to use it and from your uh, microsoft teams room system from your poly g series now that was i think a pretty short meeting to talk you through the poly g series the microsoft teams room system eh, and joining that as a guest uh yeah uh, for webex and for zoom meetings hopefully it was helpful i'm already looking forward to the next video sam because there's some great updates coming for the studio x30 and x50 and so I'm already looking forward to the next videos to, uh, to talk you through those uh, updates. Thank you uh, for watching.